Here we are with the Tekken Titan season for part two, episode six. And yeah, last episode, the rumbling started. I guess you could say. Um, but it's interesting because everything I saw of the rumbling, like the line of Titans on the horizon or whatever, and Aaron, um, all of that stuff I think that I've seen was around the time when the last episode came out, which was I think like end of April or some shit. So I thought that the rumbling would happen at the end of the season, not in the middle of the season. So if that's the case, that would mean that it takes like six episodes for Aaron to get from Paradise Island to Malane. So it will be interesting to see what happens in the meantime, right? If that's how it goes. I don't know. So yeah, will be interesting. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Yeah, but these titan, <coughs> which are basically colossal titans, right? They look a bit like, they look a bit different than almonds, right? Like the faces look different, which I guess makes sense, right? I wonder if the aliens are still like, yay, Aaron, go. We love you. Or if they like, oh shit, what is he doing? He's crazy. <coughs> Like, I mean, I mean the civilians, right? Not the military, because I guess most, not most, but like many of the military will be like, dude, what is he doing? That's crazy. That's not what we want, right? There might, I mean, the Jaegerists are probably still like, yeah, let's go, Aaron. But like, I mean, talking about the Aaron, uh, about the civilians that are like, yeah, Aaron, Aaron is fighting for us. I wonder if they are like cool with it now that the walls are down. <coughs> <laughs> Damn my throat, sorry. And I I want to see like who is on his side and who isn't. Like how many are now, yeah, we are on Aaron's side. I mean I'm still like confused about Armin because on one side he's like, yeah, making it so that no alien can reproduce is cool, finally, that's good. Um and now last episode, he's like, yeah, Aaron's on our side. Then he realizes that all the walls go down. And he's like, no, that's not what we, what was supposed to, be, what was supposed to happen. What is Aaron doing? So, might be that he's now against Aaron because he's like, Aaron, what the fuck are you doing? You were not supposed to get all the walls down. I think the Jaeger is, will still be on Aaron's side, right? But like... Mikasa, Armin, Jean, Connie, who will be on Aaron's side and who won't be? <clears throat> could Aaron just trap all the aliens in the coordinate like this? So that they couldn't do jack shit to stop him, maybe? Oh! Oh, he's in Malane, right? And he knows. Oh my god, that's a bit of a disadvantage, right? So, we probably will see Annie at some point, right? On which side is she? If she's still on the side of her father, then she would be against Aaron.
Oh, he is hard. I couldn't help him. Is he talking about Aaron? I mean, <clears throat> he started this whole mess, basically. Good way of helping. Maybe he means helping in terms of, like, killing him so that he can finally rest in peace or whatever. But it wouldn't be peace for Aaron. Well, just go to Melane really quickly, get everyone you love and bring them to Paradise Island. I wouldn't think so. <clears throat> I mean, I, I... It's hard for me to say what I think will be the end, if Eren will succeed or not. But I could maybe see that Eren will just die and... Will just die and won't finish his goal, right? That's my idea, I guess. My guess. I could imagine that, that Eren just dies. That he will destroy parts, but eventually he will die. Before he can... Succeed by killing everyone outside of the walls. Pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, they get what they deserve, right? They get them and now they get what is coming for them. But he's like, oh, but it's still wrong. I, I still think some will be like, but it's still wrong. Pretty much. <clears throat> if you stop Aaron and maybe kill him, then the Founding Titan is gone or whatever, or like it will take some time before someone else can get the Founding Titan or whatever. And then you are vulnerable and probably get killed after that. What? Why his mom?
surprise, motherfucker. Okay, Connie goes a bit insane. I mean, everyone lost someone, right? And he's like, yeah, but my mother... So maybe is that why Aaron can't control them because they are Zeke's Titan basically? But shouldn't any Titan be controlled by Aaron? <coughs> is this Sasha's dad? Turning into a titan? No. He's... It just... Oh no, that's him! That is the officer, right? The military guy. That saved... Falco. Basically, I guess. Now's your time to become like Sasha. <laughs> Gabi, yep. That's not your sister. The head is gone. First, she has to find Ben. They think it's a dream? Yep. Uh, 
Oh, he is dead. Nothing happens. <laughs> Lock? No. Old man. Oh, this OST from season one, just like a different mix. Oh no, it's season three, I think. Or maybe it was in all the seasons, I don't remember. Oh, with some singing. So long ago. <laughs> Coming in clutch. My idol, she's so good. Well, what does it look like? So, what is she thinking? What? Oh, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, about that. Where do you want to go when everywhere else on the world is probably Titans? <laughs> Trampling the world. I want my Falco back. I think that's not something the Falling Titan can do at all. Did he strip his armor titan? Really? Oh, <clears throat> that's how she came out now. Oh, so yeah, interesting episode uh, in terms of, but yeah, let me, first of all, let me know what you think, but yeah, interesting episode in terms of that Eren can control the wall titans, right? But apparently, I guess the Zeke titans he couldn't control, because I think if he could, then he would have, right? Because he wants to protect the Eldians, and if those titans eat the aliens then obviously that's not really really protecting them right so i guess he couldn't control them maybe because they are under zeke's control maybe that is like more powerful than the founding titan maybe but that would be kind of weird right i don't know it's weird um but yeah he didn't control those and he can undo the hardening so that means probably any hardening, right? So, because normally when you do the hardening, then you get like these crystallization on your on your fists, for example, on Eren's attack titan before, or like on the nap, the crystallization, right? Um, but that wasn't really the case for the armor titan, right? He was just like, from, like standard, that he was like more armored, right? It wasn't really the crystallization. At least it didn't look like crystallization, right? So, and it could still undo that. So maybe it is crystallization, just by nature of the armor titan. Or maybe it's not, and he can still undo the hardening. Or the, the armor on the armor titan. If it's not the crystallization, but normal armor on him, then that's crazy that he can undo that too. But maybe it is crystallization, but it doesn't look like crystallization. It's not it's not bluish, so I don't know. And yeah, now Annie is <clears throat> out of the crystal. And I think I, I I would assume that she's maybe against Eren. Because I think she wants I mean the whole reason why she became a warrior is because of her dad, right? Which seems from flashbacks, when I remember correctly. Which seems a bit abusive, right? As if the father, like, pushed himself on her. So that she would become a warrior. So that they could have a better life. As honorable Malains, right? So. It seems a bit manipulative. And so. But yeah, I mean, still. I guess. If that's what's still in any in Annie's mind, then that's why she would probably be against Eren, because she would want to save her father, right? So, 
So that's my guess. I would, I could imagine that she's against Eren because she wants to save her father. Pretty much like the same thing with Gabi and others that want to protect their families in Melane. Um, so yeah, I guess we have to see how that turns out. But yeah, besides that, I would say not much happened this episode, right? Very straightforward episode. Um, except that Gabi came around with Kaya, right? Um, and that we killed, like, pixels and stuff. And, I mean, yeah, Connie is, like, my mother, right? Uh, which is, like, everyone, ev everyone lost someone, right? And Connie's, like, but my mother, it's been four years. It's surprising that they kept her alive the whole time. I mean, yeah, she couldn't move, but still. Um, so, yeah, I guess. I, I would imagine that Connie either is not doing it or that they catch up to, Co to Connie and stop him, right? That's my guess. I don't see Connie's mother coming back by beating her, Falco. So, yeah, I guess Falco is safe. So, yeah, I guess we will see. But, yeah, that's the episode. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.